Hi, I'm John Haynes, Tournament Bass Angler from Mound, Minnesota, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to put fishing line on your reel. Uh, uh, there are a couple different ways that you can do this. Uh, I prefer to use a portable line station like this. Uh, it makes it really easy to do. Uh, if you don't have a portable line station, they're really inexpensive. You can buy them at most any tackle uh, shop. You can also do it without one. Um, if you're not using a portable station like this, uh, most of the uh, fishing line that you're going to, to get is going to come in a spool. And uh, you can just put a pencil right through the center of the spool. There's a hole there and you can uh, just put a pencil through it and have somebody hold that for you. And then you can have your reel either off of the rod or on the rod and just reel directly on. Now when you're, uh, uh, when you're lining a bait casting reel, uh, you want to just have them stand away, keep tension on the line and reel it in uh, if you're not using a spooling station. If you're using a uh, spinning reel, then you can just set the spool on the floor. You don't need to put a pencil in it and just run the line up and, and reel it on that way. But if, you've, uh, if you're using the spooling station, I'm going to show you how easy this is. So first, uh, there is a place here to mount the reel. And so you're just going to put the reel in like that and tighten that down. Then you're just going to take your spool of line and it comes with these tension brackets so you want to kind of get the spool here in the center and there's some resistance on these so you can uh, just set that there and put that in one side and then bring the other one in and tighten it in so that you've got good tension on the spool when you are putting the line on your reel. Then you just want to bring the line and bring it right into the line guide here on the reel, like that, and bring it underneath the spool on the reel. And then it's good to have some tools. I like to use a little scissor or sometimes just a little pair of tweezers. Grab that tag end of the line and pull it out. And then what you're going to want to do is secure the line to the spool uh, on your reel before you start to add the line onto the reel. And the way to do that is just a double overhanded knot uh, down to the spool. So there's one and then a second one and then just tighten that all the way down onto the spool and then you're just going to cut the tag end off here so that that doesn't get in the way and then you're just going to start to reel it in and it's just going to pull the line right off the spool the other thing uh, that's important when you're putting a line onto your reel is to have some kind of a line treatment spray. Uh, the reason for this is that spraying the line throughout putting the line on the reel will help to reduce the memory of the line and it will also help increase the life of the line. So I like to get it started <clears throat> and then just every so many cranks I just like to give it uh, a, good, a good spray. So there you go, I am now full and you can see and then once you're done, uh, the nice thing on the spooling station is that you've got uh, this uh, thing that just cuts that right off there. As you can see here, uh, you've got uh, the line and usually I try to go about a thumbnail to the edge of the spool to, uh, to get that going. So. That's how you put line on your uh, reel. It's a pretty simple process. You can do it. Thanks for watching.